Hello everyone, Trix here and welcome back to Diddy Kong Racing. And I just found out you can actually press the C right button in order to get yourself a speedometer. <laughs> Don't know why I forgot about that function, but uh, you can. <laughs> but anyway, last time we um, had a lot of effort trying to get the magical key for Dragon Forest in order to unlock the battle course for that world, the challenge level, as it is officially called. And I also remembered to actually save in this hub where the challenge level is, so I don't forget to do it again, just like I uh, did in Sherbet Island. But we're still here, so we're not forgetting it this time. <laughs> After getting the key, we're immediately going to do the challenge level. And this time around we have... Smoky Castle. Smoky Castle. The first player to get 10 bananas into their treasure chest will win. Well, this is probably the reason why I remembered that the dragon is called Smokey, because this is his castle. <laughs> but okay, we're doing a new type of battle course today, as you can see. And this one actually has to work with bananas, and not in the balloon battle way, like last time. This time we're actually collecting bananas that are scattered across the arena. And we need to bring them to our home base. Just like with Fire Mountain, we're once again bringing stuff to a home base. But as you can see by the third banana I tried to grab... You can only carry two at a time, so after grabbing two or one, go back to your home base, put them in, and then back into the arena, getting more bananas. Uh, you can hinder your opponents by hitting them. They're trying to hit me, but I'm clean right now, so <laughs> they're not doing anything. But the moment you hit someone who is carrying bananas, you will actually knock those bananas out of them. And you can grab them for yourself. That is the basic way this works. Okay, I'm the first one to four, it seems, so I'm in the lead. There's actually multiple ways you can uh, approach this. Usually I just go uh, around the outer corner of the castle and just uh, grab the bananas there. But you can also go in the castle mode, actually, in order to um, grab a couple of bananas. It's not recommended to do that, because in the car you won't be able to... Um, do a whole lot of it in, in the water, but you still can officially. As you can see over there, below that bridge, there's a couple of bananas there too. Okay, my head went pretty far, so I think I'll uh, show that off. If I don't miss my ramp. <laughs> Let's go. There's eight. Two more to go for me. Okay, let's go uh, swimming. Get ourselves some insurance. Still better battle course after all. I'd like to hit people. <laughs> but okay, if you decide to go in the water, you will actually find out there's also some bananas in here. But getting out of it can be somewhat of a problem. Because as you can see, <laughs> we don't have enough speed in order to climb out this way. But there is definitely a way to get out of here. You do need some patience for that. <laughs> Unless you are smart and actually decide to go in the water over here, so the way out is a little bit shorter. But there is definitely a ramp over here, as you can see. So you're not stuck in there. Okay, the blue ramp, which is mine. The one I always fall off the first time I try to go on. <laughs> but okay, here we go. Ten bananas. Tipped up is the winner. And he's floating in midair. <laughs> What is it with this game and uh, funny things happening the moment races end it? <laughs> At least this time we're not grabbing a balloon, it seems. You won first prize. And first prize, as you may know, is a piece of the amulet. And since this is the fourth one, it is the final one. It is complete. Fantastic, the amulet is complete. Use this to, en to enter the TT door. Well done. Okay, that is what it does. It opens the TT door. What the hell's TT door? <laughs> Trust me, we'll find out later. For now, we have not met that yet, so <laughs> we can't talk about that quite yet. But we can talk about Haunted Woods and how there's still Silver Coin Challenge in there. Let's go continue with that first. <laughs> If I remember correctly, this one should not be too difficult. Because uh, if I dig my memory from years ago when I last played the um, adventure mode of Diddy Kong Racing, 
I can't remember this one giving me trouble, so... Let's go find out if that is justified. Okay, there's two already. Can also be a one on the left. I'll see that in the next lap. Okay, this one just in the middle of the road. <laughs> can't really miss that. Here's one. Oh, and another one. <laughs> two of them right after each other. <laughs> Okay, the final one that I did not see might be on the left of that main square. Yeah, it is. Okay, all coins accounted for. We only missed one, but we know where it is. I got surprised that it was so close after another one, so... <laughs> now I know it's in this turn over here. There we go. Now, all we have to do is win, and it should not be a problem in a course like this. Oh, apparently there's an invisible wall over there. <laughs> Nobody entered my bubble, apparently. Not that I need to, because I'm in first place by a lot, so this should be good. Let's go jumping, and let's go jumping again. There we go. Like I expected, by far the easiest silver coin challenge of all. <laughs> the other three courses definitely were a lot more troublesome. But okay, with the silver coin challenge taken care of, it is time to go do Smokey the Dragon for one last time. The final domain boss in this game. Hi Smokey, we're, we were just at your castle. <laughs> if you can beat me again, I'll give you a special prize. Okay, Smokey the Dragon part 2. And this time around he's going to be faster. And he's going to be shooting out more fireballs. So getting hit by him is also easier. And just like the first time, he was also going to do false start. <laughs> Apparently he's allowed to do so. Oh, oh what am I doing? <laughs> I thought the first turn was to the left. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obvious I never play this course a whole lot, so I'm not too accustomed to how this course works. But this first turn goes to the right, not to the left. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, there were four fireballs at once. That was pretty nasty. <laughs> okay, he's already out of sight. And I'm getting hit way too much. Okay, this is not going to be easy. And I remembered Bluey the Walrus being difficult the second time through, but apparently I misjudged Smokey the Dragon also being difficult. Okay, homing missile, let's go! Okay, I'm pretty sure it didn't hit him. Oh, come on! Flying controls help! <laughs> Okay, I'm noticing all of the fireballs that Smokey shoots are always in the same pattern, so that you could also try to use in order to learn where to fly, because the fireballs are going to end up in the same location every single time, it seems. They're not random. So if you just remember where he shoots them, you should be able to avoid them eventually. But I'm also having a lot of trouble avoiding, avoiding the walls, so <laughs> more troubles for me. And just like with um, the level 3 boss, I think the most important thing is the moment you pass him, he should be easier to take care of. Because the biggest threat this guy has is definitely his fireballs. And the moment you are past him, he's not going to be able to bother you with them anymore. Even though there are a couple of fireballs still left from the first lap, as you can see, so they definitely stay around for a long time. But not all of them. Still, the moment you are in front of him, his fireballs should not hinder you anymore. At least not new ones. <sighs> Come on. I don't even get it. <laughs> okay, that was not a good sign, but I'm still in front of him, so... Luckily, not the end of the world quite yet. Okay, 
give him a blue balloon. Since I'm in front of him, the red balloons won't help me anymore. Okay, this should be good. I'm really far ahead of him now. Let's not miss this balloon again. <laughs> because I want my level 3 booster finish. Come on. The only way to finish in this game. Okay, here we go. Eat my smoke, Smokey. <laughs> Okay, I still like the fantastic a little bit more, but still. <laughs> After beating the fourth boss, we now get the final piece of the Wispig amulet. Congratulations, you have all four pieces of the amulet. You're worthy of facing Wispig. Good luck. Yeah, and that is good luck for later, because of course we're not doing that quite yet. There's still trophy race we need to take care of first. We're not done yet here in Dragon Forest. However, we will be soon, because this will be taken care of today as well. 11 minutes on the clock, so I think I have time to do it. Okay, we start with Boulder Canyon. I did not expect that one to be first. <laughs> but it is the most annoying one, so let's get that one out of the way quickly. And let's get back to winning all four courses. That's what I like about Snowflake Mountain so far. It's the only one where I've been able to get perfect on the trophy race. <laughs> Oh, Snowflake Mountain, where were the, where are those days now? <laughs> but I do get another chance here. The Dragon Forest, if I remember, is not that difficult in the trophy race. Computer players are still pretty beatable here. Even in Windmill Plains. Like I promised in the very first trophy race that we did in Dino Domain. For some reason I feel the trophy races in the plane courses are the hardest ones because of the computer players being uh, really fast in the plane during the trophy races. We're of course going to have to deal with another one during this trophy race, Windmill Plains. Unless I start losing this one already. <laughs> because in Sherwood Island I lost one of the hovercraft courses of course. Pirate Lagoon. My own damn fault because I made a big mess out of that uh, race, but still. <laughs> I'm not out of the woods in this one either. They're still pretty close behind me. Go away with your second place. I'm clearly in front of him, so. <laughs> okay, that put me ahead. I don't see any of the other dots on the map actually touching my arrow anymore, <laughs> if you know what I mean. They're not that close to me anymore. But I should have this in the bag. Okay, let's go left for once. And even there I end up hitting a wall. <laughs> oh, I hit so many walls every single time they put me in a hovercraft. <laughs> At least this one I was able to win. And of course, the moment the race ends, the AI that takes over immediately gets trouble with the locks again. <laughs> but at least we start off good, with me in the lead. Greenwood Village. Okay, here comes Greenwood Village. Apparently Windmill Plains is supposed to be one of the later tracks. Even though when you first enter this domain, it is the one that requires the least amount of balloons. So I should say that is course number one over here, but apparently not. Let's go do Greenwood Village first. I'm pretty sure then um, Windmill Plains comes. I'm pretty sure Haunted Woods is the final one. Even here in the trophy race. I've done this more often. It's years ago, but still. <laughs> I kind of remember the order of this. I'm pretty sure Haunted uh, Woods is still the final one. So the third course should be Windmill Plains. Okay, let's still end it, uh, finish this first lap in first. Okay, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I was assuming I was going to hit that final zipper. Okay, but 
now I'm back in first place. Okay, I didn't see anyone stop, so apparently everybody missed that oil stain. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was aiming for timber. <laughs> Bumper was once again bothering me. He's definitely uh, turning into the biggest bother in this project so far. <laughs> should start calling him Bother instead of Bumper. <laughs> okay, once again, I'm not in first place, so... Okay, luckily I didn't get hit by the bubble. <laughs> Would have been over otherwise. If you get hit by a bubble in the final lap but while you're already in fourth place, then you usually have a big problem. Okay, I only have Timber in front of me, although Diddy's also entering the screen right now, <laughs> and Banjo. Guys definitely also want to win. Oh, wait, Timber. There we go. Oh, I missed it. Ooh. <laughs> Look how close everybody is here. <laughs> if I only made one mistake more, I probably probably would have gotten last place. <laughs> everybody would have passed me. <laughs> Okay, this was a very interesting race. It was very close, at least. But I still won. Normally the kart tracks don't give me that much trouble. Th this one definitely did. But to be honest, it is the hardest it's one in friends. this game, I feel. Of all the kart tracks. This one's definitely the hardest one. And this one definitely isn't. Of all the plane tracks, like I explained, this one is the easiest one, I feel. Both Everfrost Peak and Hot Top Volcano always give me more trouble than this one. But there's no guarantee, of course. Let's go. Oh, wait, Crunch is my, my windmill. <laughs> Only one reptile allowed in there. <laughs> okay, already in first place. Already starting off way better than the previous one. Let's go. Let's go through the windmill this time. <laughs> I'm not sure if I hit him. I think I did. Okay, there's people in front of me again. <laughs> I don't want that. Banjo and Timber, it looks like. Get ourselves a zipper. Okay, I want my blue balloons back. I think I need them. Oh! Diddy, why? <laughs> what did I ever do to you? <laughs> Wait, I'm losing positions here. I'm not gaining up on these two. I'm actually losing more positions. <laughs> I need my level 3 booster. <laughs> Sometimes I feel if you actually uh, skip out on these uh, zippers and uh, just take the turn more sharply that you actually cut off a little bit. And skipping out on that booster is actually beneficial. But only if you um, bother to uh, skip the turn. I'm not too sure if that actually is the case, because um, I don't think it really matters a whole lot. Okay, let's go see if I can still catch up with these two. Come on! Watch out for that tree! <laughs> yeah, still, even though I think this is the easiest of all the plane courses, this one's also proving that these computer players, when they are in the trophy race, they are really fast and really hard to catch up with. <laughs> Am I going to get my first third place in this game? Come on, I can still catch up with Timber. And no, apparently I can't. Okay, third place it is. Easiest of all the plane courses and I get my lowest rank so far. <laughs> Five points for me. Still in first place because uh, my biggest rival didn't win. But still. Haunted Woods. I feel ashamed. <laughs> Not really my fault because those guys were just unstoppable. And I have to start from third place now. <laughs> the shame. <laughs> okay, back in first. Let's make sure I don't lose that first place a single time in this race. This race should be able to do that. Unless I start missing boosters, of course. <laughs> that was a little bit of crosshair on Diddy for a moment there. 
wasn't me because I didn't have a magnet, so... <laughs> Diddy apparently got targeted uh, by a magnet by someone. That's when you see a crosshair appear on someone. Okay, now remember there's a pusher to the left over here. And then hit the wall. <laughs> Oh, missed it. Oh, so you staying there. <laughs> Probably good I missed the zipper there then. Because I'm pretty sure I would have hit that. Cancelling out my jump over the finish line. <laughs> okay, I've got this. These guys are really far off in the distance. So, there we go. Okay, once again, not perfect. Windmill Plains was kind of a disaster. Wrong way? What the hell? Okay. I think he's broken. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Welcome to the next chapter of Things Going Wrong the Moment the Finish Has Already Been Passed. <laughs> what the heck is this? Okay, I knew the AI could do silly stuff the moment the race was already over, but this definitely beats every single thing we've seen so far. <laughs> this is really weird. Okay, let's uh, forget about that quickly. <laughs> let's go talk about the next golden trophy for the trophy race. Giving us four out of four. Man, we're clearing this game, it seems. Every th single thing we are actually seeing for the last time. Last challenge level. Last silver coin challenge. Last bosses. And even the last trophy race. Leaving only one more thing to do in this game. Now that we have beaten off the bosses and gathered the Whispig amulet, we can actually enter the Whispig statue in Timber Island. A, t a big, big statue that's been taunting us ever since we got here for the first time we can finally enter it we can finally beat that annoying little wizard pig and send him off timbers island so he has his island back again okay we'll do that next time see you folks then which is probably going to be the finale for diddy kong racing question mark but anyway see you next time it's reeks out and thanks for watching